Hi there, I'm Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to just walk you through how to use this new yellow flower field digital overlay. Anytime you're doing a composite, it can be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to just walk you through how I'm trying to make this a little easier for you and show you one of the ways in which I will extract a subject. And with every subject, it's going to be a little different, but I'm going to show you this today. Here is the shot that I took of my daughter, and I'm just going to go ahead and select all and copy it and I'm going to paste it right into my digital background. Now this is a horizontal file, this is a vertical file, so the orientation is a little different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the opacity so I can still see her, but I'm going to now make her smaller so that she fits in more appropriately with this background. If I need to change it a little bit, I can do that. It's better for me to err on the side of making her a little too big and resizing it a little smaller rather than making it too small and then trying to, to uh, size up. So I'm going to leave it be about right here and we'll just see what that looks like. I'm going to change the opacity back to 100% here. And now I'm going to use this tool here and it is a, one of the selection tools and I have kind of a small hard-edged brush selected and I'm just going to go around the areas selecting the areas that I want to be included in this selection. Touch these areas where I want to select and there's going to be some little mistakes as you can see I, I uh, Let's see if I can clean this up. Okay, I'm going to clean it up a little bit by just going in there. Oops. And I don't, it's probably small to see, but by using your shift button, you can uh, toggle it between adding and subtracting. And so I'm just going to go in. Let's see if I can add that. I can fix that later. So um, I'm going to just make this quick selection here and now I am going to press my mask button and you can see that she is now placed within this image and I think it looks probably pretty decent. I might have actually made her a little too small. As long as you're resizing it up within 10% uh, you're usually in pretty good shape. I wouldn't advise, I would just redo it if it was any more than 10%. So I'm going to put her in like that. And let's see here. Then I'm going to go into these little areas and do a little bit of cleanup with a soft white brush in my mask, painting into my mask. And if I don't like something, I just go back over it in any of these little areas where my selection didn't really do the job that I wanted it to do. And let's look down here. All right. Now I'm going to put it, fit it back onto the screen. And what I'm going to do, go back into the folder. And I've included two versions. There's a, a version with the butterflies and a version without. And then there's this ping version, which you can just place on your image and you just need to sort of align it with the bottom as long as it's aligned with the bottom it will match up perfectly it will match up perfectly and now that's going to help you blend your figure into that background so you might want to do just maybe a little bit more tweaking but on the whole you're you should be pretty much there if you want then you can select your figure and let's say 
I'm going to add a little more saturation. You can do a few little things just to help integrate your figure a little bit more, maybe tweaking the color or whatever. And you would just do that on, on this layer, on your uh, extracted layer, not on the digital overlay. Or you could go ahead and, and add actions and at this point start making uniform changes possible so that, like for example, these oranges are matching the oranges you see here. Now, as you can see, you can kind of reposition within this little area, this pocket. Now, if you'd like, it's not exactly centered, but I, I thought, you know what, I'm going to let you guys make the choice if you want to crop it. If you want to go ahead and crop it to give it a little more centering, I think that's what I did in my final. You can absolutely then just go ahead and crop. All right, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.